So guys, this young man by the name of Jazzy shared his dream that he got some weeks ago and so he tried to get contact with Spice but was unable to and as he mentioned that God have a way of working things out guys, I wanted to leave your comments down below and as he go in prayer for Spice guys, check it out. I use this same time to, to just sympathize with, with Spice. I don't even want to call her Spice. I'm going to call her Sister Grace Hamilton. Because Spice is a name we should get in the world. You understand? She get that name that in the world. She's, she's, she's more salt, not Spice. Salt. Because the Bible says we are the salt of the earth. And when I came up before and I tell you people that is salt, some people never understand what I was saying. She's not spice, she's salt. She's salt of the earth. She is counted amongst those as salt of the earth. Not spice. Spice is what she, she received while she was roaming and running in and out of the world i pray that tonight that wherever her head rests that the spirit of god will locate her and visit upon her i see some hypocrites come out on facebook you know because we have to call them out when john the baptist was here he said you you generation are vipers and some people, when, when they hear our uh, children of God speak, they say we're too radical, we, 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 we're too strong, we're too real. But we have to get to a place where the Holy Spirit of God is activated within us. So the right kind of thing that can come out. Some people are afraid to talk the truth. You want to maintain friendship with people, then you want to tell them the truth. But what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and to lose his soul? You want to have lineage with people, then you want to talk the truth. Let them drop you if they will. But do the will of God. Do the will of him who sent you. The Bible says, if I be lifted up, I will draw every man unto me. Who is willing to lose something for God? Nobody want to lose nothing for God in this age and this time. Everybody want to wall and pan and keep something. Nobody is willing to let go something for God. Everybody want to wall and something. One wall on a name, one wall on a fear, one to lift up somebody because they want somebody to lift you up back. But who is willing to lift up Jesus, the one and truly God? The one who is really able to lift you up from your miry, from your mucky clear, from your sickness, from your sin, from your state. Man cannot do what God can do. When I came out a few weeks ago, and I know some persons perhaps been waiting on me come out and do a live but i'm not excited about doing anything for people and for man for man's sake i operate by the spirit of god anything i do i say lord and i'm not perfect but i i try i say lord just help me to put you first i realize in the past i do things a lot of things out of passion but god still saw my passion and it's he still was able to use it for his honor and his glory and he pruned me over the years. And he continued to prune me today. And, and I continue to shine brighter and brighter. When you walk with God, brothers and sisters, you don't remain the same. Some people are the same old Christian that they have been 10 years ago. There's nothing different that has changed with them. Then who are you sitting before? Who are you bowing your knees before at night time and morning time over the years? I say to some people out there, you can't look like the same old Christian if you really go down and make an having consultation with God. There yeah, are some Christians, five years ago, they are the same Christian they were five years ago that they are today. They look the same way, they speak the same way, they operate the same way. I said to somebody tonight that if you're having me to make God, you cannot come out looking the same way. You cannot come out speaking the same way. And most of the devil you're talking to is can God. And I'm when I talk about people, I talk about some church too. I talk about some individuals. I talk about you know yourself. Hypocrites. It's time now we begin to speak, thus saith the Lord. The devil is daring 
So when God take us out to speak and to do what we need to do, we have to speak it for what it is. The Bible said that the word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. To divide even the bone from the marrow. Sharper. There's nothing in this world that is sharper than the word of God. I'm just a humble messenger boy, you know. I'm, I, 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 I am not the one for nobody go up on them phone and really watch on a live. There's maybe something and somewhere better for you guys to watch and to listen to. Because I tell you that if you really check it, your appetite wants something different. Your appetite wants to perhaps listen to something different. Some gimmicks and some rumors and um, some foolishness. That's what, we, that's what we thirst for. And if maybe if I was, was licking out against somebody, I may, I may tear somebody into pieces in order to be more inclined to hear what I want to say. Because that is all we are more interested in as a people. Tearing people into pieces. Cast, cast and mix up, mix up and blender, blender. Things that goes nowhere. Things that doesn't make us look better. That's all we are interested in. And when I come out and I say, brothers and sisters, we have to change the paradigm. We have to change the way things are done in this place. You have to fix up your house. You have to get your house in order. It cannot be business as usual. You can't have the table the same way how you've been having it. You can't have the chair the same way how you've been having it. A time for you to shift up how you have your bed in your room. It's time for you to shift up the way how things are. You can't just have things the same way. It's time you turn the flame up to get the fire inside of you. Sometimes you have to turn on the, the burner, you know, for the gas to come. It's not just turning on the gas. You have to change the way things are. Yes, you lift up the pan and the pan may feel like turn on the, 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 the burner. By faith and see that fire will ignite. You have to have a shift. It can't just be the, the, the same old concept of doing things. We're going to continue to do it. God is about to interrupt some things. He's about to interrupt some things, friends. I, I tell you, I'm not in interrupting nobody tonight, you know, because I want God to have the interruption. Some people will come out and they, 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 they will say some things. And when I, when I come out as a, as a young voice, of God, some people, some people jeer, some people laugh, and some people view me as an ex Noah, talking foolishness. Some people who believe, say, because they are existed way before me, they believe that God can't use the young to talk to the old, and even the young themselves believe, say, the young can't talk to them. But the last time I checked, brothers and sisters, there was one in the Bible in Genesis. His name is Eli. And the Bible have us know, brothers and sisters, that Eli ministered to God under Samuel. Eli was a young boy who ministered to God under Samuel leadership. Samuel was, a, was, was like a mentor. And Eli was ministering. To, I want to talk to the prime minister. I want to talk to the governor general. I want to talk to every one of them. Whether they want to be Adventist, Pentabism, anything that they want to be. Because listen, a lot of lukewarm been operating in God's place. And we can't get the life and the grace and the mercy of God every single day. And what are we doing with it? Do we feel and believe so every single day? You look at the last of them all. Which part? Where are they? Where are they? We don't come to, to have favor in man, but we come to have favor in God. To speak, thus say the Lord. It will, it will make some people uncomfortable. It may make some people don't like you, but it's not about man no more. It's about God. I'd rather make God like me first, and if you like me after God, then all the best. All, 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 all the best. But my like in first is to ensure that Jesus like me and that I'm pleasing God. And if after God like me and is pleased by my work, is pleased by my words, then if you still is pleased, then so be it. But some people rather look to please man first to, get ex to, 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 to achieve the expectation of man first that they are willing to achieve the expectation of 
God first. That's why we get up every day and we do some things with our body, we do some things with our face, and we, and we walk some lifestyle because we are pleasing people more than oh, we are pleasing God. And that's why some people are not happy with who they are because we don't get it properly in our head. That's why sometimes we're not happy with who we are. But the moment we begin to see that God has wonderfully made us, that there's absolutely nothing that we lack with what God has blessed us with, brothers and sisters, we will begin to run the race of life with a different energy, with a different fire, with a... Listen to me tonight, somebody. Because I don't come tonight to sugarcoat nothing to nobody. I come to let some people understand that people can't continue to pray for you. You have to begin to pray for yourself. It is your own prayer that will save you. It's your own prayer that will save you. The Bible says one shall chase a thousand and two shall set a ten thousand of flight. It never said two shall chase ten thousand. As in two reach a two and move and, 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 and pass the one. You are involved in chasing. Where is you in the mix of all of this? You want everybody to pray for you, but you're not praying for yourself. One shall chase and two shall set. There is a work you have to do in the midst of this all. It can't just be a case where people are praying for everybody, but nobody not praying for themselves. I come out praying for me somebody, but am I praying for myself? Am I trying to give myself a break? I don't know what I'm saying tonight, you know. But I know the Lord is speaking. The Lord is speaking tonight. And who have ears to hear, let them hear what the Lord is saying. I don't come to get money from people. So I don't mean, have to talk in a certain style and certain code and certain pattern. Because I'm not trying to look likes, I'm not trying to look fans, I'm not trying to look followers. I don't want no more of that. Right now, I'm going home. I straight on the morning tree that I'm, I'm trying to get to. I don't got no time to waste. So if some people have all the time in this world, then I'm not coming with you. But I'm going home on the morning tree. And so I'm not in the, 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 the rest of fandangles that everybody else is in. And when we are not in what everybody else are in, then we have to do it differently. Friends, when I came out, you know, a few weeks ago, many of you were on the live with me when I came out. And a lot of people, they, you know, they criticized me in what I said. And all of what I'm saying wasn't even important, all of what they were doing. Some persons were encouraging, but it still never really matter. What matters more than anything else was that I was doing as the Lord led me and gave me strength to do. You know? And when I saw a very disgusting video of, of, of Spice out, and I watched the video several times where I couldn't watch it anymore. You know, I reached out and I tried to make an appeal. Firstly, I tried to condemn the act. Because the Lord said to us, brothers and sisters, that we must seek justice. And some people will wonder, why do I come out and say certain things and have a position on certain things the bible want the lord said to us that we must seek justice that we must defend the oppressed the fatherless and the widows the lord said that we must stand up for the poor so you see when we don't do things brothers and sisters it means that we are not exercising who we really are in christ if christ really dwells within us we don't sit down I see certain things before our eyes and just sit down with it unless Christ has said in my plan for rise up to do something. When you truly have God inside of you, injustices and, and how the systems are, you have to make your voice be heard. You have to take a stance. It can't be business as usual. And so when I came out, friends, and I say, 
I don't know brothers and sisters, but I'm telling you, I don't really, I don't really get vision, vision much. And I'm not a dreamer. <laughs> you people are learning some things about me tonight. I am not somebody that really dream. And if I do dream in the night when I wake up, I totally forget about the dream. I don't know if I have anybody like that here. Like you dream and when you wake up, it's like everything gone. You can't even remember what you were dreaming. That is me. The only way I will remember something for the most part is if a dream stand out. I know that the Lord has blessed me with some abilities and some gifts, you know. And over the years, with, 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 with certain walks and journey, it, it, it gets a little dwindle, but, you know, we begin to move with God more and more. And so the Lord begins to prune and to work on things for the greater good. And it was one of the first, one of the, one of, one of the first encounter and experience that I had that, that, that moved me in such a way. You see people, you have some people out there where they, they will get up and they will talk because they have a spirit upon them that talk. And I'm not, I'm not gonna, before I do that, let me just say, what I saw with Spice in that dream, I saw her at the one of the very highest place of her life in her journey. Highest pinnacle. Her highest level of achievement. And for some reason in that vision, brothers and sisters, I just saw a sudden fall. A sudden fall. I wonder if somebody hear me. I saw a sudden fall. The same time I did a live and I tried to reach out. I tried to add Spice as a friend. So that I would be able to share with her the message. I reached over to Instagram. But apparently she's too friend. She have enough friends. You know. But I attempt to reach out. And I would want to believe that a lot of her followers would have conveyed the message. You see, brothers and sisters, the situation that Spice is in today is not much different from what was envisioned and what the Lord shared. I wonder if anybody here was here when I shared the vision about Spice. Because we are praying for her recovery, you know. We are praying for her heart, but more than her heart, we are praying for her soul. And I want some people to understand that this is a positive life. The Spirit of God is here. I don't want the foolishness. This is not a foolish yard. This is not a foolish camp. Yeah? Sister Carol was here. When I came out and I, and I said that, the Lord shared with me a vision and I saw a sudden fall of spice. I shared it with my fiancé. You see, some people came out yesterday and they came out today. Me see, the media come out. Me say, one bag of people call themselves agents and all kind of things all over social media. And when I share the live, I say, whether it goes so or not, whether it's a rumor or not, the devil is doing something. And one way or another, the sister needs to turn herself right in. Whether it is true or not, she needs to turn herself inside and be of herself to before the Lord. Because some of us brothers and sisters, we operate too out of control. And it is time now we understand that God is in control and we need to turn self in and behave with self. We need to turn with self in and behave with self. Because listen, some of us we can only run this far and no more. A lot of us we exalt with self and we flex with fist in the face of God. And it takes nothing for God to come up and to stop us. It takes nothing for God to stop us along the journey. Listen, 
No matter how much money you have, no matter how much views you have, no matter how much followers you have, no matter how much people you have to come to defend your case, it come a time where that can't help you. None at all. It can't help you. It come a time where only God alone can help you. And Father God will bring you so low with your sister. Listen, not even the strength in you would be able to help you. When I came out, brothers and sisters, and we saw the video, and I'm not going to go in the video, but the vision is what I'm talking about, and I saw that sudden fall. And I'm happy that it, it, it's not an accident, because I saw a fall like an accident. I, I, I saw a fall. <laughs> I saw a mighty crush. But thank God I never saw her dead. But I saw a fall. And even if she was dead, the Lord that sits high and look low, he resurrected Lazarus. Eh? And what is impossible to God does not exist. We serve, we serve a powerful God. We serve a powerful Savior. Brothers and sisters, I want some people to understand this tonight. Do not take the voice of one light. Do not take when the Lord speak lightly. And some people need to learn to serve the Spirit. Let the Lord teach you. Let the Spirit of God teach you, brothers and sisters. By the fruits you shall know them. All of the foolishness that I see I operate over Oberlin High School. By the fruits you shall know them. It's time now we stop running up and down like headless chicken, friends. This is why a lot of these things happen for us to see that we don't know God. For us to see that we need to get to know Him. People, man, now go always did it for interpret and for tell you, you know. We all have to get to a place where we know Him for ourselves because when we reach upon the bed, that when we reach upon our face, when we reach, we head reach the dying pillow. It's us and us alone. You can't go tell nobody to take your place. The Bible says it is appointed for man once to die and after death is the judgment. Every man has to stand and to face the judgment seat for themselves. I tried to reach out. I tried to make contact. But listen, brothers and sisters. You see, sometimes when you try to reach out to people and you try to do the work of God, just do it. Because one way or another, God knows how to get, him at, get attention for himself. I wonder if somebody hear me. God knows how to get your attention. That's what I'm saying. Am I clear enough? No matter how much you're out there running, eh? and being stubborn, God knows how to get your attention. He knows how to get your attention. And somebody not, some people not live it out, you know. I wonder if you hear me say, some people not live it out. Let me say this. I know when I saw the vision of spice, it was like a car accident. Hallelujah. It was like a, a it was, a, it was like a, it was like an accident. It was like an accident. Remember friends, I came here. And I said that I saw a fall. If it is God's will to take Spice out of that hospital and out of that situation that she's in. I want her to know. That it's no going back to the world as it was. And any book in which she thinks she have, she better cancel it. Cancel it and book Jesus. <laughs> when I may think, so I just a smile for smile's sake. I don't want nobody to look at me physically, look at me spiritually. Just see the Lord in what I'm saying. She need to cancel every booking. I said there was a particular entertainer who met in some accident. I don't remember her name recently. A female. And she said she had got turned to Jesus. But 
there are some bookings that shall go complete. I want spies to know. Turn yourself right in. Cancel every booking. 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 And turn right into God. We're praying for you, you know. And if you ever come across this life, I hope some of your agents that came out to cover up say, you are right. When you never are right. Because they don't even see some of them help for bring you down and them help for bring you up. Some people don't see them help for bring you down and them help for bring you up, you know. And you guys come out with your lying lips. You know much people out here that love Grace Hamilton? Eh? They love her. And there are people out here who are more willing to pray for her than to pray against her. Yeah? But one way or another, the truth come out. One way or another. One way or another, the truth come out. And we were saying that whether a friend or not, whether a rumor or not, shh, there is the devil operating. Lies is in the atmosphere. Plan is in the atmosphere. Plotting is in the atmosphere. And a vision was given. I said a vision was shared. And everybody see and know. Every one of us see and know that just like each and every one of us who need God. Spies need Jesus just the same. God has blessed her, taken her from the lowest and brought her. And I want some people to understand this. And everybody where you see with money, God give them money. He may permit it. You know, everybody you see with followers and fans and, and goodness and big house and this and listen more and some people understand this. Stop taking things where you see people up and things. Yeah, God bless them. Stop take where people have and things that uh, God bless them. You see people with three houses and living at the mountains and the hills and you think, yeah, God bless them. God may permit some things to happen. Because the Bible says, you know, you, you, you going to allow us as his righteous people to inherit the, the labor of the wicked. You might go make we inherit them labor, the, 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 the money and the benefits. You might go make we take them. Stop getting the thing twisted. So spies can reach the highest level of, of this. Uno can reach the highest level of things and God not give you nothing. You know, think the devil can fix up in people him too. Hello. But make sure you know understand this. That when the devil fix you up, it lasts this long and no more. The devil can fix up people too. So no father would have look and say, oh, that man of God, yeah. Not have certain things, or the woman of God did not have certain things. And look for me, me now worship God, and me have my nice big car, I drive, and my proper house, pull the key in, and listen, the devil can fix you up. Man of God may not have the biggest van for car around poor people, you know. But guess what go on now? Man, God have something richer than what Kiara can buy. And that is the peace of God. That is the strength of God that keep me going every single day. That is the grace and the mercy. And the opportunity to, to see eternity. No want some people stop get this thing twisted and feel and believe. Say, material things and spiritual things are two same things. Are two different things them. And that's why sometimes you would look upon church people and people who are walk for God and say, Oh, 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 them their church are praise God all this time and them not have nothing. Hmm? They are going to look upon me and me, me and my wife and say, Look upon them, say them I worship God and only that alone them have. Look upon the, them people upon the life, say them I worship God and them can this and them can that. Listen. It not boil down to just that. And when you're done, you exalt and you say, look upon where you have. The devil can fix up in people too. The devil can give him people care. Him can, 
I know him again, you know, God permit because the devil sometimes have to give you some things to make your turn which part him have you. Because him knows that it is just but for a time. That it is just but for a time that him cut your neck. That him cut your throat hole. Just like some people out there have themselves be cut every single day. The devil allure you and he will fix you up because they're coming at time. They're coming at night. They're coming at day. They're coming at moment where he will come up on you and he will cut you before you know it. He know how to fix you up to keep you nice up and to keep you well down so that when he's ready to cut you, he cut you at an hour and a time that you least expect it. I wonder if somebody will get a message for themselves. He that have here to hear, let them hear. Friends, I came out and I shared the vision. And I tell you, God no all forget the attention I'm people in. Listen, a mighty awakening is happening, brothers and sisters. There's something that is happening. And some people have to change up some things. They have to change up some pattern. They have to change up some ways. They have to change up some style. Something is in the atmosphere. And God is trying to get the attention. No matter how much people, some people out there, where that is so-called righteous, you know. Because the Bible says that none of us is righteous, you know. None of us is holy, you know. But at the same time, you have some people who consider themselves to be righteous and holy. I'm talking some church folks too. Some church folks. Because some people, you know, in the church, they're not saying nobody but who is outside of the church. I am in the church. And if God truly dwells within us, then we have to see, say, God attack even the very people that sit and stand beside us. He may attack every one of us. You have some people when them talk, them operate like say sinners are in the world, but which part sinners they're right inside of the church. And you have to minister inside before you go in outside. Hmm? You have to minister inside before you go outside. Right? Right? You have to do it. Another thing, brothers and sisters, may I tell you no? May I tell you no? Let me tell you no. Spice will make it out. By the grace and the mercy of God. Shall I get another chance? I declare it and I decree it. Ha! There's a peace that I feel. She's coming right out. Whatever her state is. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Oh, God. Father, you carry her out, right? Father God, I carry her out, man. She had to acknowledge him, you know. She had to acknowledge him. Me say she had to acknowledge Father God. Hello, somebody. Hmm. I want some people to know this that you see when you talk to God you not have to hear a loud voice but God is a peaceful spirit that when he speaks to you you knows because you receive peace over your situation you receive peace over the circumstances you receive peace over the condition. I hear the songwriter say that he is a peace speaker. That whatever he speaks to, it has to obey. He is a peace speaker. Peace speaker. Peace speaker. Peace speaker. 
that whatever he speaks to, it has to obey. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. That whatever he speaks to, it has to obey. He's a peace speaker. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Mm, some people trying to find themselves. But only find they can find your true identity. Is not in running in this world and running into everything and everybody. But it is running into God. That's the only way you can really and truly find a way. Find the answer. Find the truth. Find the peace. Find the hope. Find the joy. Find the answer. Find the love. Find the power. Find the strength. Receive the anointing. Find the joy. Find the purpose. Find togetherness. Find a way. It's the only. It's the only. Careful who you're listening to. Careful what you're following and who you're following. Careful where your trust is. Careful what you're leaning on. Careful. 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 Father God will carry her out. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let me tell you this, brothers and sisters. Talking to God, it not necessarily mean for close your eyes every time. It's having a conversation with the presence of God. I wonder if somebody connecting with to what is happening at this time. It is having a conversation with the presence of God. It is engaging and involving God in your conversation that you're having. So are you saying to me, that what you've been doing before wasn't involving God. God is not just when you close your eyes. He listens to every voice that comes from your mouth. Every contemplation in your thoughts. You have an opportunity to engage the spirit of God. Woe unto those Woe unto those. Woe unto those who turn from God. And turn to other gods. Woe. 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 Hallelujah. Woe. Woe. Oh, Jesus, mighty God of Daniel, <clears throat> mighty God of Daniel, woe unto them, Father, you continue to show up, you continue to show off. Let me tell you this, friends, no matter how some people may look at a spice and think say, God, they're far from her, listen to me tonight. At least gotta try to get her attention. Some of you, you continue to be stubborn and stiff naked. Jesus love her so much. Fear try to get her attention. I wonder if she see it. I wonder if she see from this small page, from this small platform. 
what God is saying to her, what God is doing for her. I wonder if any of her fans them, or so-called fans them. Because Jesus had some people in the camp that was trying to take him off course. So imagine who is in her camp. Imagine who is in her camp. If Jesus had those in his camp mm, that was trying to take him off course. Uh, imagine who spies have in her camp. Ah. Uh, I see spice is motivated by the hype. The hype is what been keeping her and carrying her. We come against every spirit. Every spirit that want to keep her into error tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Some people who sit by themselves waiting to see her very last to rejoice do you know some people waiting to see your very last to rejoice they're sitting by you think that they are your true supporters but they actually come to sit by to to watch your your very demise to begin to celebrate Careful who you think is celebrating you. Careful who you think is with you. Careful. Careful. That's why God say, I will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. That he will anoint your head with oil. That right when they're digging your grave, he will allow you to tap into your best moment of this life. For he's not done with you yet. That what the devil meant for bad, he will turn it for good. Hallelujah tonight. Hallelujah tonight. I see some people come out. Now let me get it real, real, real like real. Can I speak it like I feel it? Without twisting it nor reversing it. Can I get comfortable tonight as I continue to speak? As the Spirit of God lead me. And enable me to, to speak the way and the things that he would have me to speak can I say it as it is can I speak it as it is even if it will cause a fire even if it will cause some people to begin to get burned even if it begin to allow some mass to fall off some people and allow the demon in some people to tremble can I sit up let me tell you, brothers and sisters, that some of us are nothing but real hypocrites out there. Hypocrites. Hypocrites. And what makes us hypocrites? Hypocrites. This is why I want us to use this situation with spice to know Jesus more. Hypocrites. And what makes people are hypocrites and what makes a lot of us are hypocrites on the situation is whereby a lot of people get up on the situation and what they do, what they do, they get up and they say, We're praying for you, we're praying for you. But a lot of you know that spice need more than just prayer. She need a deliverance. She need a transformation. Deliverance and transformation. That is what you need. And while we can pray for our heart. While we can pray for our heart in our friends. 
And I don't, friends, I don't want to know, get distracted by my face, you know. Don't get distracted by my face. I, I, I grew up very rough. I grew up in a very inner city community. A lady once looked at me and she said, you know, you had the ingredients to become a notorious gunman. You know, she said that to me, that I had the ingredients to become a notorious gunman. Lost my mother at the age of 10. Never had my father too much around. And life situation has helped to shape me. But thanks be to God, it has shaped me for the good than the bad. And thanks be to God that this face is used to help to impart God's words than to use to intimidate people. And today, brothers and sisters, I say to you, I say to you, I say to you, I say to you, that what makes many of us are hypocrites, and many of you are hypocrites, and what many of you have done is that you have exposed yourself as true hypocrites, that in your quest of trying to show empathy, you have done nothing but expose yourself and you cannot be hidden no more that you have climbed so high that you have revealed what is underneath you and you are exposed you are exposed when I tell some people that this is the season to expose and to be exposed they took it as a joke By the grace and the mercy of God. The biggest. The biggest. The biggest prayer you can tell anybody. Or the biggest truth you can tell anybody is the living truth. And the biggest prayer you can pray for anybody is to pray for them soul. And a lot of you, you are church people, you call yourself so-called church people. Or you're not praying for the woman's soul, but you're praying for her heart. You're praying for her heart. And you say you're praying for her, you're not even reach her heart yet. Because I mean, I pray for her heart. But more than her heart, I pray for her soul. And a lot of persons join me with praying for her soul. Amen? You can't pray for the woman. And so you're truly praying for Ara, you know, pray for your soul. You can't even talk the truth. You can't even tell exactly what you're praying for. You're praying for her. We're praying for you. We're praying for you. We're praying for you. Hypocrites. Hypocrites. Careful who pray for you. Careful what they're praying for. Careful who they're praying to. Careful the source also that they come from with their prayers. Hello. I see a lot of them expose themselves. Hypocrites. Hypocrites them. The hypocrites them they are. Hypocrites them. The biggest prayer you can pray for your spice is to pray for her soul. Because w when you pray for her soul, that is the source of everything. Pray that she will repent. Because when she repents, brothers and sisters, God will have mercy upon her and take her out of the condition that she is truly in. Pray for the, 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 the depth of, of, of her situation. Pray for that. Pray for that. That is what we have to pray for. You can imagine, brothers and sisters, that when I, when I spice, when I, not, I want to stop calling her spice, you know, she is Sister Grace Hamilton. And I want social media to begin to call her Sister Grace Hamilton. Because we have to help to help people to realize who they are too, you know. Sometimes we have a role to play to help a man to realize who he is. 
Do you know that you can help send somebody to hell? Do you know you can help to keep somebody where they're at? And if you can help to keep them down there, you see one can help to lift them up there. And I want some people to begin to understand the power that is within their hands. That if you imagine, can you imagine people begin to flood spice by calling her sister spice? How that would have just be received towards her. And even if she wants to fight it, I can tell you that she will not be able to, 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 to fight it off. She will begin to accept what God is leading her into. Because that is who she is. Sister Grace Hamilton. She get the name Spice in the world. The devil tell her so she has spice of people. The devil tell her so she has give spice. And we have seen the kind of spices that she has given. But God wants to give her something better. To share and to be a part of in this world. Until he come to get her. If it's according to his will, his grace and his mercy. Are you willing to help to spread and to share deliverance for her. Deliverance for this world. Deliverance for this new thing that God is about to do in her life. That wherever she is at this time. That the mighty powerful hands of God will look. Which pass you there and touch down within her wound, touch down within her soul, touch down within her heart, and forgive her of all her sins. I pray tonight that wherever she is, if she has not asked God forgiveness of the young man that she she ridiculed and looked at and said him smell funny. When she visited that country, every one of them she have to repent of. Every one of them. Every covenant practice. And I want you people out there watching to do something while you pray also for her. That every covenant agreement, every covenant practice... Every sign she sign, every stamp she stamp her name to, every little idle gestures, every little things that will cause God to wipe her right out. That it doesn't take nothing, brothers and sisters, for us to hear that the thing is not that serious. For us to hear that she's getting better and then in a split of a second you hear something that you never expect to hear. It takes nothing for God to come so. When you hear peace and safety, it is sudden destruction. Sometimes we hear that things are well and that things are not that bad and that it is being recovered and it's getting better. So it is confirmed that our situation is a situation. That is one. All of that reality that was being kept away it is now confirmed that it is indeed a reality. And so with that in mind, how many people have you heard of, brothers and sisters, that when they're in a particular state or situation, understand me tonight, and you hear say, oh, it's not that bad as we thought it was. Oh, she's getting recovered. Oh, he's not going so bad. Oh, improvement is taking place. Then right after that, it is Zoom. How much? How much? How much? How much? You know how long the devil been roaming and having his way? You think the devil going just make sure walk out so easily? Hello? You think what God is about to do in her life that the devil want that to become a reality? Don't you think? Don't you know? Don't you think? Don't you know? What is about to happen after all of this? Understand me, Holy Spirit, have your way. Don't you know, brothers and sisters, that is not going to just be a walk in the park. 
No matter where doctor do you know, a father got the greatest physician. So if you don't feel like say spice day in a doctor hand, only make a sad mistake she in a God hand. A father got an answer in her, and father got to have the power to make or to break. And a doctor run this thing. So some people who, because you don't have enough money and things, say a doctor run this because you don't have the biggest of health insurance, and you can turn to that doctor, change that doctor, and believe, say, a doctor do this thing. You believe say, it is doctor why you're here today? You think that your doctor and him expertise because people recommend you saying, Oh, he's the best in the place, he's the best in the state, he's the best in the square, he's the best here. Listen, I know doctor why you're there. It is by the grace and the mercy and the power of God. You think it is by luck why you're living, luck why you're breathing, luck why your heart is still beating. It is nothing but the goodness of God. So only if you see why you're still here. I know God I run sure right here so right now. I mean, I know the devil I run sure right here so right now. Or I know the doctor I run sure right here so right now. It is God. God always been running the show. But the devil always want to pervert and to interrupt something. I wonder if you see what the devil want to try to say and want to try to do. But God will have the final say in it all. He will have the final say in it all. And social media need to understand that they have to play a part. Every one of us have to play a part. Can you imagine what this sister would be if the platform, if the space that she have, she take it and she use it for God? Can you imagine can you imagine what this world would turn to? How the devil would be ashamed because the devil will understand that God will have the final say in it all. That he thought that he is running this race and him are leading or something. And forgot that Father God has never been outrun. That he has never been outdone. Mighty God. Mighty God of Daniel. Mighty God of Daniel. Mighty God of Daniel. We have to help to share this. And to get it right out. If you say you want to help. This is how we can help a situation. This is how we can change a situation. This is how we can play a part in a situation. Call our sister spy. Sister Grace Hamilton. No more spice. Call her name until she understand her name. Some people call her spice to the point where they not even know what her real name is. Because that has engulfed who she is. That has engulfed who she is. It has certainly engulfed who she is. Let me tell you this, brothers and sisters. It come a time God have to slow down some way. See, our sister say, sister Marcia say, my husband, when he was sick and I called, they said he was coming on well. Here you are now. And the such day we went on, look for him, a hour he got worse on his way to the hospital. He died in my daughter's hand. When you hear peace and safety, it is sudden destruction. You see, sometimes when people have money, eh? they can pay money, they can do this, anything to keep the, 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 the truth away from the public. We see it happen every single day. How much politicians fly out America to get this, and you hear so them do well until you hear say, whew, whew, whew. None of us no bigger than Father God. Hello? None of us no bigger than Father God. Some of we operate like we're bigger than God, like certain things can't touch we. We have a sad thing coming. A sad, 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 sad thing coming. Whew. 
It's no time to get relaxed. The devil is a liar. If you're not praying, pray. If you're not praying, pray. 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 Let us pray for her. Pray. Let us pray for her. Pray. Let us pray for her. Pray. When you think art condition is a joking business, let us pray for her. It could have been more than art condition too. More than art condition because right now to how I see it, Grace Hamilton, Sister Grace Hamilton situation is more than a heart condition. Just like many of us, our condition is more than just the, 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 the diabetes and the, uh, the high blood pressure. The condition is more than just what the doctor tell me that, we, that, that it is. More than it. I say the condition may very well be more than just what you think it has, and they said that it is. So don't take people word for it. Some of us condition is more than just the physical, it is spiritual. And sometimes brothers and sisters when we're in a place, don't think so. it is just because of just a physical situation. Sometimes God carried down and sometimes because of sin and our ways and our lifestyle and our stubbornness. God allow certain things to come upon us so that at the end of the day we may see. Say, we have to focus upon him right this hour. Sometimes God has to allow some things to happen so that some people will see that he is God. Because some way we operate like so we can run around this world forever. But we serve a God and him said that this earth is his and the fullness thereof. So don't feel like so we can run in a runner up and down in a God yard. I feel like say, it will going to do forever. I see a lady reach out to me and, and she's saying, and she's saying, oh, she, she well, she call her Spice. Look like this one of Spice close friends, you know, after a post that I put up. When I was saying, well, whether it be true or not, the devil is doing something and Spice need to turn herself right in. And the lady come and say, oh, you don't even know what she has been through. And, 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 and she's my friend. And, and listen, I had to respond to this lady and with all due respect and I had to say to her, listen, let me tell you this man. Let me tell you this, no matter where she been through, it is God that allow things and there's nothing that spies have. Father God permit it all. And not just that you may be our friend, but you have a greater friend in Jesus. She have a greater friend in Jesus. So don't come tell me about your friend. God has been seeking after her long before you. Long, long, long before you. So if you are a friend of her, stand aside and allow God to have him way. Stand your friendship aside. Because the end of the day, this is going to be between she and God. Not between you, she and God. What God want to do in her life, you can't do in a fair life. Can you take her off her sickbed right now? Can you turn her situation around right now? You only wish you can do that. But you can't do that. You can't do that, lady. You cannot do that. It's only Father God alone can take her up and lift her up. And if God doesn't say, I'm going to lift her up, she going to stand down there. And I hear they come out and say, oh, she out of coma. If God wants to send her in coma, keep her in coma, or take out her coma, it is his hands, it is his doing. What she needs to do is to repent. Let me tell you, Father God put something in her for repent, you know. Even if she halfway close out, let me tell you this. She's able to make contact to repent. So they need for prayer. We need for prayer. That she repent and turn to God. Wherever she is. Pray that she come out different. Nobody just pray for she get recovered. Because if I that not pray for she now come out. And I would love her to come out. But if I that alone on her pray for she come out. God not take her out because of that. Pray. So she come out different. No, for now, just a prayer, prayer, fish, 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 just recover. Recover from what? 
Recover from what? Some of you people need to get in the prayers right. That's why we've been praying things and not saying nothing not change. You think this is just opening your mouth and praying, praying. You have to understand what you pray for, how you pray, what you pray for. It's like you're asking God for wants and God wants to give your needs. Hello? Hello? God wants to deal with your needs. And you talk about wants in front of Father God, some things that you can do without. You don't you see that Father God wants to come in and for wipe out every nastiness and filthiness, every wretchedness. And forgive you something totally brand new to reposition you, to give you a new word, to give you a new thoughts and, and, and a brand new taste and appetite. Let me tell some people, if you're truly praying for her to come out, you need to, you need to, you need to fix up your prayer. Fix up your prayer. That's why some of your prayers don't work. That's why some of us prayers don't work because we, 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 we don't understand what to pray for. We don't, we, don't, we, don't, we don't understand this thing. When you go before God, you got to understand. The, the, the Bible said that God shall supply all our needs according to his riches in glory. Is your needs. Somebody said there's a lady, Sister Vivian Sutton said, there's a lady in Africa who, who, who was in a coma for four years and she came out. You know what is a coma, by the way? Because it is not just alleged, it is also confirmed that she was in a coma. And she, were, she may very well be in one right now, same way. Which we hope not. You think said the media going to come out and tell you exact things? We see family members reach out and, and it's a real situation. It's a real situation. When people, when people, when people, when, when the Lord shared with me the vision and I, and I came out and I, and I saw how she behaved with the young man. And there are a lot of other things how God has been good to her just as how he has been good to many of us. And we've been nothing but ungrateful. We've been nothing but, but, but witch, witchcrafters. Witchcrafters. Ungrateful people, the Bible said, listen, that you're just like witch. Ungratefulness is just like witchcraft. Just like witchcraft. Just like witchcraft. When I saw that falling, my friends, I know that it was real. It was right before my eyes. So, honestly, when people are at a place of being surprised, it's just a confirmation for me. It's just a what? A confirmation for me. As the spy city, sister Grace Hamilton situation. I gotta practice, you know. Practice. Sister Grace Hamilton. I wanna, you know, practice. It's a confirmation for me. And just like how Father God could share that with me. Hmm? He can do so much other things through me. To pray for her on her behalf. And Father God, if Father God can enable me to share with you guys, then you guys too, you brothers and sisters watching on, you have a role to play too. Because God now share something with you, you know, in vain, you know. Anybody where I listen to this live tonight, yeah. You were counted and selected. So don't feel like so now go on to bed tonight without saying a word of prayer. Don't believe say so go go down and pray for your sister tonight. Or pray for your brother tonight. Or pray for yourself tonight. We have to pray a prayer. We have to pray a prayer. We have to break up the plans of the enemy. We have to break up evil. We have to break down darkness. We have to break up sin. We have to break it up in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, brothers and sisters. We have to break it up, turn it down. It can't continue. God no offer search through the multitude just to find you. No matter how you think you can run. Hey, listen. God no God have a time for all away, yeah? Mr. Father, God have a time for the whole away. And no matter how much we think so we are wrong.
you can run this far and no more. What we say? You can run this far and no more. And, and you're right. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying myself. I'm saying myself. I'm, I'm really saying myself. I'm really and truly saying myself. You can imagine her name is Grace Hamilton. Her name is Grace Hamilton, you know? Grace, you know? That is not a, a name that was put on her because of whatever this was her, her birth name. Can somebody confirm with me? Grace Hamilton? You can imagine, brothers and sisters, that there has been a call long time before she was in her mother womb and her life that this would have been her name. You think Father God just put something for no reason at all? So when you know, say so you walk out of that purpose, they you know how to make things get frictionable. When you walk from God and run from God, just like Gideon, you know how to get your attention, you know. Mighty God of Daniel, Father God, know how to get your attention. And I want some people to understand tonight from this life that Father God don't play. Him not play with me, him not play with she, and him not play with you. You better get it right with God. Come on and do it now. Under the blood of Jesus, I lay my burden down. You better get it right with God. Come on, do it now. I wonder if I have, I do not own rights to the music. Because I don't want me and Facebook have any problem tonight, you know. Because I will set my God on them, you know. Because even them is another problem too, you know. I need to pray for our deliverance from f f Facebook, you know. Mark Zuckerberg and the entire team, you know. Because a time going come, Father God, I got to deal with them kids too, you know. And if them is a part of the problem and the propaganda and the mix up and blend up on social media. Because the only thing them do is they set algorithm. Everything have to do with truth. Everything have to do with God. Everything have to do with change. Everything have to do with transformation and unity. Them cut down the algorithm because they don't want people to see and hear. They are part of the biggest problem. Evil portals. And thanks be to God, the, the few people where I use social media for good see and when I stand for Jesus. Do you know, brothers and sisters, that sometimes if you say, out oh, your mouth, Jesus Christ, or you say anything that is spiritual, Facebook send you a message ready for block you, uh, 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 all kind of foolishness. Elon Musk on Facebook now, look at that. Elon Musk. Is it Musk or Moss? Mask. Which one? I don't even know. Any one of them want to own it, them need Jesus. Any one of them want to own it, need Jesus. Either way. Either way. Whether it want to be the Zuckerberg or the Musk or the Mask or the... Anyway. Mask. Mask. Look at that. Look at that. A lot of changes, but nobody now accept the change of Jesus. All the time, the very change of the enemy the in front of our eyes. Nobody now see that. All Mark Zuckerberg, Ellen Musk, all of them have to go stand before Jesus Christ one of these days. Every one of us. Oh, Sister Dawn, I, I go and read your message, man. I, not to, I, do, uh, I never get the chance to read, read through the message them yet, yeah? But I saw your message, yeah, my sister? I'm a um, connect. Right. So I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, I'm telling you. We got to do it. Friends, are you able to see on my phone? I do not own rights to the music on the screen. Because I want to sing, you better get it right with God. You know? Come on and do it now. Because you know? of them kind of song, you want to hear Spice start sing. You better get right with... I just imagine Spice come out and I'll start doing a song like that. You better get right with God. Come on. Remember stop sing before them cut down this. No, I don't see it. Thank you, my sister. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> when you sing it, which part of the day? Because when you're not going to make me get in on a problem with Facebook. But me just sing it the same way. Let me speak it. You better get it right with God. Come on and do it now. The blood of Jesus can Facebook on them problem. Yeah, them, them, them. them. Yeah, yeah, 
I don't even know. I don't even know, my sister. I don't even know. See, I do not. Oh, you can do that too? I do not own rights to the song that I am singing in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That is my authority now. You better get it right with God. Come on, do it now. Under the blood of Jesus, I lay my burdens down. You bet. Hey, listen, I want some people truly get it right with God and their brothers and sisters. All them ladies that reach out to them want to give them soul to God. Don't delay. Don't put it off. Don't put it off. Nobody put it off. This is the time. This is the hour. This is the minute. This is the second. Nobody put it off. Hey, everybody are singing hallelujah. Can you imagine? Glory be to God. We, amen. <laughs> oh, you mean? That is what we're talking about. Mm, I feel church inside of me tonight. Hallelujah. I feel an anointing upon me tonight in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Glory be to God. I wonder if I may alone feel it and hear it tonight. Eh? Mm-hmm. Yes. Songs I sing on this program. Say I do not own right. Sister Vivine, come sing. You request. Who want to come in? Come sing or come pray or something. Come man. Somebody come pray. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Sister Terry and Griffith are dance. Put on our dancing shoes for God. Oh, you mean? Amen. Dance for Jesus tonight, of course. Yeah, man. We could pray for spice. We could pray for our soul tonight and sing a song or something. Come on, somebody join, join the life. Cause this is not just about me talking and, and, and praying and this and that all the time. Come on, man. Come on, we have 178 people. Eh? Father, Father God, allow 170 odd people on the live tonight. Somebody come join, come pray. I would sing, but you know already. Eh, hey, Daniel would sing, but just I know already. Mighty God. Eh, my woman, my woman says she have her own, her own beat. But that's fine. Your own, own beat. That's all Jesus need. Just your individual unique beat. Hey, when my fiance sing, brothers and sisters, mighty God, hey, she is unique, you know. Mighty God, I love her so much, you know. She knows that. She knows that she has her own beat, own tune. Like she need her own mic, she need her own box, she need her own space, you know. Yeah, trust me. Come on. Who ready to join? Come on, brothers and sisters. Let's sing. Let's sing for God. No watch no fears, man. Come on now. 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 Who want to pray? Who want to sing? Because no other space now to this on social media right now. Everybody attack foolishness and I share propaganda and I share foolishness and they on some life. When I, when I, when I, when I really bring no true change. No true change because if you're not talking about Jesus right now, and if you're not talking about salvation right now, and if you're not talking about healing sight, uh, um, grace and Milton's soul right now, and if you're not talking about prayer right now, you're not doing nothing good right now. Let me just be, let me just be real with you right now. I mean, a lot of people there on Facebook are doing live right now, and I don't mean no harm, um, I don't mean nothing bad, it's, I'm just talking the truth. If I'm a father, God, we are talking about. If I'm a prayer, we are praying. If you're not talking about, you know, assured goodness and godliness right now, then it's nothing. Somebody said, I was crying earlier in this life. The anointing is here. Presence of God is here. That's right, my sister. I could not be speaking unless the presence of God is upon me. I could not be doing it, my sister. I'll be very honest with you. I'm happy that you are able to see that and to understand. It is just a pity many other people don't, you know. That's the sad thing about it. You know, when Jesus was on the boat, you know, and he was way out, you know, according to the, the Gospel of John, uh, <clears throat> 12 of them looked out and, and 11 of them looked out and saw a ghost. And it's only one saw that he was Jesus. One was only able to have an experience. <clears throat> 
So I understand. <clears throat> I understand. Mighty God. Brothers and sisters, and I can you know, can't really imagine <clears throat> the enemy. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm like, I don't have to talk no more. Eh? <clears throat> but God is working it out. <clears throat> God is working it out. <clears throat> God will work it out. You're working it out, Lord. You're working it out. Mighty God. <clears throat> You're working it out. Every time I try to do good, evil present itself. Hmm? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. <clears throat> Have your way. The devil will not win. We are more than a conqueror. We are more than a conqueror. We are more than a conqueror. More than a conqueror. I do not own rights to this music. Ah, uh, glory. More than a conqueror. More than a conqueror. More than a conqueror. That's who we are. More than a conqueror. More than a... My sister, I tell you the truth. is not what I want. More than a conqueror. More than a conqueror. That's who you are. Gargle your throat with warm salt water every morning and night to protect your voice. My sister, trust me, this is like one of the first. I'm not even a shout or I'm not even a go too hard, you know? But you see, you see when God is doing something, the devil show up <laughs> but father god always have him way always have his way always have his way always try to have his way but god always win eh? he always win mighty god in a weary land cooling shade and a burning sand lord god almighty father the things of this world will grow strangely dim and will lose its value. Father, you sit high and you look low. You know every single thing. <clears throat> you know every single thing. Mighty God, Father, <clears throat> I am your mouthpiece. I am your oracle. I am your son, the anointed one, Lord God, that before I was formed in my mother womb, you knew me, Lord God Almighty. Father, stand in the gap now. Oh God, take over this life now. Father God, may your hands rest down now within my windpipe now, Heavenly Father. <laughs> Whatever the enemy is trying at this time, Father, we cancel it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father. You brought us at this time in this fashion, Lord God, to wage war against the enemy. Father, you are more than a conqueror. Father, we come before you at this time, Lord God Almighty, for you are the conquering lion, the tribe of Judah. Father, you sit high and you look low, Father. In you there is a way. You are the truth and the life of it all, Lord God. At this time, Father, we come, God, collectively in effort, mighty God, and we come, God, in faith tonight, Father, to lay before you, God, our hearts, God. Forgive us tonight, Lord God, of all our sins, God. We come with deep expectancy, oh God, that your healing hands, God, will rest and abide upon us, God. Forgive us tonight of all our sins, God, and cause Jesus, that which comes from our mouth, that you will see fit to accept our prayer. Father God, tonight, Lord, we we pray for Sister Grace Hamilton. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, when I tell some people, say the devil, <laughs> mighty, the devil, the devil is a liar. Father God, tonight we pray for Grace Hamilton, Sister Grace Hamilton. Grace Hamilton, Father God, we put her before you tonight, Lord God Almighty. Mm. Lord God, you see her state. You see her condition. <clears throat> Tonight, Lord God, we pray. Heavenly Father, that as angels come down now and surround us, mighty God. Oh, Father, we need you now more than ever. That tonight, Lord God, as we put this case before you of your daughter, Lord God, that as you locate her tonight in the spirit realm, <clears throat> mighty God, 
We pray, Heavenly Father, that your hands will find her now. You said in your words that your hands are not too sharp, that it cannot reach, neither is your ears too heavy, that it cannot hear, Father. Oh God, despite our sin, God, you said that, God, that while we were yet sinners, you came and you died for us, mighty God. You know her by very strand of her head. We pray tonight in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord God, that mighty God, that your mercy and your grace will extend towards her, Lord God. God, Father, if the devil can use her, Lord God, imagine what you can use her for, Lord God. Father, we pray tonight, Lord God, that you will break every chain, that you will break and loose and set her free, oh God, from every bandage tonight, Lord God, that whatever the enemy is doing tonight, Father, we pray that you will nullify it now, that you will cancel it now by the power of God. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, that you will rest upon her, Lord God. Tonight, we pray that you will trouble her conscience, Father, that you will touch her mind, Lord God, that you will, Jesus pierce through her life at this time, Father. May you be the great physician, Father, that you will take control of every single operation over her life tonight, Father. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that God, that whatever it is, that whoever it is, that rise up, O oh God, against her in judgment every single tongue that rise up against your children rise up against your sons rise up against your man's servant rise up against your daughter will be condemned tonight in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father father god tonight god we come to tear on every spirit ring of the enemy tonight father lord god every source every source god we speak to that it will dry up now by the blood of your lamb in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father for you are here you are here spirit of the living god tonight oh god you said that if there's a man to pray there's a god to answer and the god that keepeth israel never sleep nor slumber so we pray even now tonight lord god that you will hear our prayer oh god that you will have mercy upon us god pass us not by your gently savior but hear our humble cry why and others don't are Mighty God, we pray that you will surround us with your presence tonight, Lord God. That you will lift up our standard against the enemy. Lord God, we submit to you, O oh God, Sister Grace and Milton, Father. O oh God, that you will save our soul, Father. Heal our heart, Father. Every wound upon her body, Father. That she will twist and turn tonight, O oh God, towards you. And she will, O oh God, come to the place, God, where she will recognize you, O oh God, that you are the help that she needs. That you are the source, O oh God, to her situation, Father. We pray tonight, Father, that you will cause her, God, to come out stronger, to cause her to come out better, O oh God, to be the true light that you have called her and designed her to be in this world, mighty God. We pray, O oh God, that you will show us, God, what prayer can do. Father, have mercy upon each and every one of us tonight, Lord God. Work a miracle. Work a wonder tonight, Lord God Almighty. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Father. Oh God, that you'll rise up a people, that you'll rise up a generation. Oh God, um, who that is not, oh God, afraid to stand up to declare Jesus, to afraid to stand up, mighty God, under the bloodstained banner of Prince Emmanuel, mighty God, we pray that though the heavens fall, Lord God, your sons and your daughter I will get to the place where they will take up their rightful place in this world, mighty God, we pray, Heavenly Father, that Jesus, you will look down upon us, God, and you will find favor, oh God, we will please you, help us to live for you, Lord God. Father, grant us a brand new appetite. Change our hearts inside out. Oh God, touch every infirmities upon our bodies tonight, Lord God. We pray that your healing hands will rest upon us tonight, God. Tabernacle with us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father. We pray, oh God, that your blood, God, will move through every surface, God. Move through the cyberspace tonight, God. Move through every homes. Move through every heart 
hearts. Move through everyone, God, in the hearing of your man's servant voice tonight, Father. May somebody receive deliverance wherever they are, whatever the situation is, whatever the circumstances is, Father. May your Holy Spirit, your power, move through, oh God, the wave of this phone now, God. And God, you will turn somebody's situation around, Father, that someone will receive your peace tonight. Lift their faith tonight, Lord God Almighty. We come tonight, Lord God, that you will grant us an answer, that you will give us a way out, mighty God, Father, in us, God, in our situation at this time, Lord God, we pray that, God, that you will allow us, mighty God, to stand upon your words, Jesus, oh God, to declare it over our situation. May we see, oh God, that you have given us authority, oh God, to trample upon serpents and scorpions over every living thing in this earth, Father, we pray, oh God, that you will take crookedness from us, God, every corrupt place will be straight down tonight. Lord God, Father God, heal us from every sickness, heal us from every pain, heal us from every wound tonight, Father. And we understand that you're the God that will allow our hearts, oh God, to go down to save our soul. Oh God, we pray that you will do a new thing in our lives tonight, Father. Give birth to something brand new tonight, Father. Raise up a church within us, Lord God. Oh God, turn us, God, from the things of Baal. Oh God, and turn us to Jesus and God, whatever is the agenda that mankind has, oh God, trying, oh God, to silence your word, to silence your people. We pray tonight, Lord God, that you will attack every source, that you will dispatch angels, hallelujah, that you will dispatch angels tonight, dispatch angels tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that you will dispatch angels tonight. We come against darkness, we come against Fear. We come against every lying lips. We come against every doubtful spirit in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father. We stand on the word. Oh God, our hope is built and nothing less but Jesus' blood and righteousness. For we dare not trust no sweetest frame that wholly lean on Jesus' name. But on Christ the solid rock we stand. All other ground is sinking sand to Tonight, Lord God, we pray that you'll obliterate every plans of the enemy. We give you our hearts tonight, Lord God. We come to surrender all to you, Jesus. Oh God, you are able, Lord God Almighty. Stand in the gap for your children, Father. See of us, God. Allow the enemy not to have dominion over us, God. Oh Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Amen. And amen. And amen. And amen. And amen. It is done. I do not own rights to the music. It is well with my soul. With my soul. It is well. It is well, it is well with my soul that when peace like a river attend that my path when sorrows like sea billows roll Whatever my lot, thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. It is well. It is well with my soul. It is well. It is well. It is well with my soul. 
it is well with spice soul it is well with our soul it is well it is well whatever your situation is with my soul it is well it is well it is well with my soul hallelujah somebody can somebody just shout a praise with an image shout a praise with an image for victory shout a praise with an image for victory shout a praise with an image for victory hallelujah yes 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 amen 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 we pray for jamaica amen we pray for every family every person on this life amen 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 have your way lord god almighty we pray for social media we pray for the hearts of your people amen 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 glory be to god yeah, man.